Viewers, good evening and welcome to Family Matters. I'm your host, Petunia King Dillon. It's a pleasure to be in your presence this evening. And God is so pleased that you're watching because he has a word for you today. And before I introduce my guests, I just want to tell you that God is sending his son back soon. Jesus is coming. He is coming for those who are prepared. You see what is taking place in this world right now. Are you ready? Are you prepared to meet him? If COVID should strike your household today, where would you spend eternity? COVID can come like a thief in the night. Are you ready? Because I am hearing that people who are gasping for breath and dying, they may not even have the time to say, God, forgive me, I repent. Are you ready to meet your maker, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Think about it and prepare yourself to meet the Lord. This is a time that we have to look up for redemption, joy at nine. It's perilous times. It's the time that we don't know what is happening next, where you will be next. And we have to know if we don't have God in us and serve God and repent Amen. and turn from our wicked ways and pray what or portion may be. So this evening, I've given you something to think about. Think about his coming and think about whether or not you are ready. And it's time to get ready. My guest this evening, Elder Sean Turner from the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Scarborough, Tobago. And his telephone number, 719-4471. Elder Sean Turner, welcome to Family Matters. Minister Dillon, it's a pleasure again to be in your company again in this place and to be in the company of the entire world. Amen. Because I Amen. was made to understand that this, this station is reaching thousands across the world. Amen. As we bring the word of God Hallelujah. to the people. I know the topic this afternoon is close to your heart. Close to my heart, because I want to see people's lives transformed for the glory of God. If I could just share with the people a little secret. I saw, when I saw you in tears this week yes. for the nation. Yes, I was. And my, my heart was touched because not very much people are, their hearts are, grieving for the things that happen in the nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so by then, this, the topic today um, that, you have, that the Lord has given to us. That's right. This cause uh, would stem from two passages of scripture. One, Proverbs 14 and verse 34. But before, you go into, to, before we go into it, I want you to lead us in prayer. Oh, eternal Father and our God, we thank you so much for this privilege of being in this place again. Even now as we open your word and view the topic of righteousness, exalts a nation but sin is a reproach heavenly father help the viewers to understand that they can have it right with god even now in jesus name i pray amen, amen. and there's my topic this evening righteousness exalts a nation elder sean oh beautiful please um minister dylan we look for the viewers for the people who are viewing you can take the pen and or pencil and write or take for note of your Bibles, Proverbs 14 and verse 34, which says, Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. 
Now we may ask why it is that we are dealing with this particular topic because very recently our Prime Minister asked the, the country to go into a prayer and fast. Yes. And oftentimes we will ask the family to go to prayer and fast mm -hmm. or to pray about a particular situation. Yes. And then we may not see the result as we want to see and we question why. But God in, in his word has given us a format in which individuals, families, as well as nation mm -hmm. should follow. Um, if you look at me at Chronicles, Second Chronicles chapter seven and verse forty, it says, "If my people, which are called by my name, one shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face." and turn from their wicked ways. Yes. The Bible says, then will I hear and answer and heal the land. Amen. Minister Dylan, I would like you to go on the word humble. We're going to dis Thank dissect you, this thing. Thank you, Jesus. On the word humble. If, firstly, they humble themselves. Mm -hmm. what, what is God trying to tell us with that? If we could go a little bit on that for us. The word humble. The the word humble, in my view, is one, you can look at it as submission. Mm -hmm. And when I say submission, you know the Bible talks about husbands must submit to wives and wives sub submit to husbands. Children submit to your parents. Mm -hmm. Humbling yourselves means that you, God, let me decrease right. so that you can increase in me. Exactly. And this is what God is saying today. To the nation. Hallelujah. As well as to the personal, per, the person, as well as to the individual family. Yes. But look at this, L, 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 uh, Minister Dillon. Mm -hmm. God says, if, if in the English language is a word of doubt, yes. make choice. So if I make the right choice, by humbling myself, step one. Mm -hmm. And then God says, my people. Yes. Which tells me that God claims us as his own. Of course. We are made in the image and likeness of God. People. Mm -hmm. It means then that even if you may be the worst sinner, viewers, yes. I'm talking to you now you can come to God. Hallelujah. Yes. He said, my people. Mm -hmm. He's not saying now a sinner or a saint or a person who's, who's in church every Sunday, Saturday, whatever day. He's saying, just come. Mm. My people. The criteria is if they humble themselves. Step one. Two. He says, and pray. Amen. So you humble yourself, acknowledging that, listen, God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make less of me, more of you. Now I'm going to pray. And then he says, now, if you seek my face, mm -hmm. now to stand in the presence of God hmm. is an awesome thing. Yes. And only the humble can stand in the presence of God. Amen. You see, God is setting us up to be in his presence yes because we can't be high-minded and haughty that's right to stand in the presence of god so god is telling us beforehand and when god asks us to seek his face meaning the solution could never lie with the politicians the solutions could never lie with mr rowley mm -hmm. or mr griffith yes the solution lies with god yes yes and our and humbleness how you Humble That's yourself right. before God. That's right. So then there is something, there is something here that um, hmm. a lot of us will not agree to. But God calls us that. Turn from your wicked ways. That's <laughs> right. Most people will not say, I am a wicked person. 
most people say I'm godly, I'm kind, I'm everything. But really, let us let us mm. explore a little bit on what is wickedness. Because we have sinned and come short of the glory of All God. All of us. All of us. Have None of us are righteous. So we're going to just dissect this thing a little bit. Mm -hmm. If someone takes a cutlass or a gun and kills someone, we often see that that person is wicked. Mm -hmm. Wicked. But that is just an evil act. That is just an evil act. But what about if it is that I can help you and I refuse to help you? Then you're a wicked person. In Romans, they speak about it. All right. Mm -hmm. So, viewers, the Bible says if we have this world's good, and withhold our bowels of compassion. Hmm. How then can we say the love of God dwell in us? So, Hallelujah. in dealing with our fellow men, uh, in this, especially in this COVID time, yes. if we are not inclined to share mm -hmm. and to help and to comfort, then that could hinder our prayers. And to have compassion. And to have compassion. That could hinder our prayers mm. from being heard. So, we, I don't want us viewers to look at the politicians or to look at John's family. Ask yourself now, why is it that my family is not prospering as it should? Mm. Am I being a wicked person mm. by withholding my goods from the needy? Mm. Because if I humble myself, one, if I see God's face, if I pray, but if I remain wicked by not helping, by not being compassionate, not by being, not being loving. Yes, by, be, from, by not being kind. Not being kind. So then this will tell me that God cannot answer my prayer because the chain is broken somewhere. We must complete everything in order for prayers to be answered effectively. Hallelujah. Be that sometimes some might argue and say, okay, I'm seeing results. But results doesn't necessarily mean because of your prayer. Results could mean somebody has been praying for you. Amen. Someone who has been keeping the circle completely has been praying for you. And the Bible says, the fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. Amen. Even when Abraham prayed, Lot was delivered. So, we can't boast about what is happening to us because we are good. But it could just simply be because of someone else Prayers. praying for us. Yes. Yes. So, Minister Dylan and the people listening, it is quite important for us to understand the steps that God wants us to take in order to be successful in prayer, in, in successful in our prayer life. And for him to even remove what is happening in our world Good. today. Right. So we ask God to take us to take care of the COVID. Yes. Now, Minister Dylan said something in the beginning that was very touching. Be if COVID should touch us now and we die, then what will be our state of affair in respect to God? Mm -hmm. So even in praying, we must pray and ask God, not my will, Lord, but thy Amen. will be done. Amen. That's another aspect of prayer. That's and right. even Elder Turner at times afraid to even pray. Not my will, Lord, but thy will be done. Because he would see the pureness of your heart. He Remember, viewers, God is watching you. Mm -hmm. You can hide from man. You can't hide from God. He knows our dirty ways. Oh. He knows the things we do behind closed doors. <laughs> he knows who we are. So when we become hypocritical and we, we are giving a face when you're in church and you are someone else at home, then God is seeing you. And then when you pray, how do you expect him to answer your prayer effectively? Right. Right. So, see, but today, um, part of my heart 
I want to give the viewers, those who are feeling depressed and discouraged by their own lifestyle, yes. to think that, listen, I'm not worthy even to go before an awesome God. Now that mm. I understand what God requires, I'm not there as yet. Then God said, listen, even if you make your bed in hell, Hallelujah. I am there. Jesus. You see, that phrase, even if you make your bed in hell, mm. says that, listen, even if the decisions that you make is one that set you up for the pit of hell, God said, listen, I'm going to be there. Come to him in repentance. Just come to me. And change your I ways. I in no wise will cast you out. Hallelujah. And that is the beauty of God. God doesn't function as we function. No. God functions in spite of. The love that God has for us is the in spite of love, in spite of all I have done. Unconditional love. In spite of all I have said. In spite of where I have gone, where I have been, I'm going to still love you the same. Mm. Mm. So, as we grapple with the, the COVID-19 virus, and there's a lot of stuff that is out there now, more, more questions than answers. Yes. The only answer that we could provide is a prayer life. Amen. A religious prayer life. If my people, if God is expecting of us to come to him in prayer. Because he's the almighty God and he has all the answers. Mm -hmm. And viewers, God is waiting on us, on you to come. Don't allow COVID-19 to shut you out from God. Amen. To social distance from God. Mm. God is not the social distant type. God said, listen, come to me and I'll give a rest. You know, there's something I want to, to draw to the attention of the viewers. You know, a lot of people tend to say, okay, I'm praying and I'm praying and I'm praying and look, God still take my mother. Ah. God take my husband. God take my wife. God take my child. And I'm praying. And didn't God send his son to suffer on that cross for all of us so that we can have our sins forgiven and that we can receive redemption? Think about how God felt and how Mary felt when her son was being murdered on that cross. Wow for all of us so that we can come to him today in repentance and say God cry out to him and say God I have sinned mm. I am not worthy of mm. you but I beg you please God forgive me forgive my family forgive us for what we have done and help us to change. Mm -hmm. We accept you as our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And turn your life around. No, Elder Sean, now is the time to change it. Uh, no. If you never felt yeah. like changing before, you got to get something in your spirit now you that see, says, I will serve the Lord. You see, I was telling my mom this week, and I want the viewers to understand mm. this. That the devil does talk to God more than we talk to God. <laughs> and, and some might ask me, why are you saying this madness? You see, because the devil has to ask God permission every day to come to you. He cannot do with us as he pleases, Jesus. except by God's permission. Mm. So listen, we have a more sure word. God's word is, the promises are so much. Yes. I mean, the time here is a little bit... Yes, but that's all right. So, God know, is giving it to us. I, I just want the, 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 the viewers to understand that God stands ready immediately to answer every prayer. Hallelujah. Just reach the requirements. Humble yes. yourself. Mm -hmm. Just come before God and say, God, look, listen, here I am. Wretched, poor, and naked. Yes. I'm seeking your face. I'm going to talk now, Lord. I'm going to pray to you. Mm -hmm. This is what I need. This is what I want. And God said, oh, and end the prayer by saying, Lord, not my will, Hallelujah. but thy will be done. That's how I end my prayers always. For those who may be experiencing death. Yes. 
because a lot of people are shaken by death now, yeah? a lot of people. Oh. I'm hearing so many people speaking to me how nervous they are, but they're because suffering with anxiety because of what they're seeing. Right. But, but where is our faith? Right. God said, listen, some will have to die because mm -hmm. it's appointed unto man once to, to die. die. Mm -hmm. But there's, he said, it's the thief come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I, God, come to give you eternal life. Amen. God doesn't want us to remain in this particular life. So viewers, some of us will get sick, some of us will die. But dying in Christ is Hallelujah. the ultimate, ultimate victory. Dying in Christ. Oh, victory in Jesus. Sweet. So the Bible asks, oh, death where is the sting, oh, grave where is the victory. There is a victory for those who die in Christ. Amen. You're going to be part of the first resurrection. Hallelujah. So viewers, don't be dismayed or be discouraged about your loved ones dying. Just uh, make sure that they, die, that in they die in Christ. So you who are well with them, speak words of encouragement yes, to your loved ones. Yes, yes. Help them to understand that after this life, there's eternal life. Amen. And God is willing to give every one of us eternal life. I'm not bogged down by COVID. Not am I. I, I am very respectful of people mm -hmm. and the space of the government and the, 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 the things yeah, that they Because you have to obey to the law of the land. Right. Yes. So I'm very respectful. Mm -hmm. But there are two texts that I live by. One is... 1 Corinthians 10, 13. You can write that down. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. God is able to keep us. He, there's no temptation that he not allow that we cannot bear. So God knows that I can't bear COVID, so he won't allow COVID to come, but I wouldn't be careless. <laughs> no, you can't be careless. I wouldn't be careless. Yes. But however, most of all, Psalms 91. Amen. He does abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And there's a whole list of protection Hallelujah. for those for, yes. who are in Christ. So I'm speaking now to the person who might feel rejected, feel left out, feel broken in spirit, that I have done so much that God will not hear. God is saying today, Minister Dylan, come. Amen. God is saying today, come unto me, who are heavy burden. heavily laden, and yes. are heavily laden, and I will give, give you rest. rest. Mm -hmm. The thing, my friends, when you go to Christ and you leave your burden, leave it at the foot of the cross. Hallelujah. And walk and live a victorious life in Jesus. Pleasing to God and mankind. It doesn't mean you may not slip and fall, but always remember from whence thou hast fallen. Mm. Repent and do the first work. So Christ in himself has taken the burden for the entire human race. And he has broken that down, Minister Dylan, to families mm. as well as individuals. Christ is calling everyone today to repentance. Yes. He just asks us to do three things. Humble ourselves. Four things. Humble ourselves. Pray. Seek his face. But turn most of all, ways. And turn from our wicked ways. Amen. And I'm going to reiterate again. Our wicked ways may not be or will not be just taking a gun and shoot. But if we refuse to help our fellow men, mm -hmm. that, and we could, then that is being wicked. Yes. <laughs> that is being wicked. And you know, I want to say to our viewers, when you pray, ask God, let me decrease oh, so that you can increase mm -hmm. in me. That is humbleness. I was just about to say that. That is humbleness. That is humility. I mean it from your heart. You can be a rich person. You can be a poor person. You can be in the mediocre realm. Go before God. Humble yourself before God. Seek his face. Mm -hmm. And see God work for you. This is not a time for partying and liming mm -mm. and doing excessive things. It's not the time for it. Because God is showing up. He is showing that, listen, I am getting ready to send my son, right. Jesus Christ, back to this earth. And he's looking for people who are ready. Are you ready? And Minister, quickly, how do, sure. we, how do we get ready for Jesus? Simply, in a nutshell, I'm asking, 
to tell the viewers, how do we get ready? How for do we get ready? I just said it. Let me decrease so that you can increase exactly. in me. You humble yourself. Mm -hmm. You get ready by showing kindness. First, the family is the core of society. All right. It starts with the family. It starts with you, the mother, the grandmother, the grandfather, the father, then the children, because it's what you give out comes back to you. So you have to inculcate in the children all the, 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 the realms of the spirit and what God expects. You have to try to fashion your family in a way that represents God, that God would be pleased. You've got to read your Bible and pray every day. Huh. And remember, you have to understand that word called forgiveness and unforgiveness. They're the two main words that will take you to heaven. Because if you don't have forgiveness in your heart, then Christ will not forgive you. You Amen. cannot say that you are humbling yourself and you're turning from your wicked ways and you're praying and you can't forgive your neighbor who has hurt you. Amen. So you, you got to know that there, there are things that come together when we're looking for the glory of God to come for us, when we're looking to go up to heaven. We are putting it all together for you. Our time is short. It's come to an end. Mm. But listen, God is the answer. Amen. Christ is the answer. He's coming soon. Get ready. You may go tonight, and because a lot of people are just taking it with a fever and they're gone. Where would you spend eternity? Are you ready? Elder Sean, are you ready? I am by the grace of God. Hallelujah. By the grace of God. We are God, ready. ready. And so this evening, I just want to give God praise and oh, thanks amen. to you. Amen. Yes, I give God praise and thanks to you. May God bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. And remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Good evening. Amen. Have a wonderful and safe week.